Because he done some things too. He's not fully innocent. But. He should have at least known. And like I said, we don't talk. Me and Queen don't talk. So you could have at least told my mom. There should have been some type of communication there. And it wasn't. He stated that plenty of times after I asked him to come to Atlanta. Also, he just got done calling me a miserable. We don't have an easy going cordial co-parent relationship after I tried to have one. So why the fuck would I invite him knowing he can't detect? Okay, that's true. They, but that's really not my business to speak on. I'm not going to speak on that, but they don't have the best co-parenting relationship. But at the same time, somebody should have been notified. We didn't have to be there, but just to get the notification, you know, hey, he's graduating. Knowing how we are about CJ, things should have been notified. That's all I'm gonna say. So, yeah, that's all I'm saying. I was also dealing with a six two year old with a high fever. Why the fuck would I be thinking of anything else? If we don't speak on a regular, I'm not thinking about calling nobody for a 20 minute kindergarten graduation. Y'all get me, bro. Shut the fuck up. I'm getting tired of every. I don't got time on to today. I'm getting tired of this. Sh I'm about to start popping off every single time. And I don't want to hear you saying, please stop explaining yourself because I'm not silent anymore. Let's normalize public figures and celebrities being able to defend themselves. It is what it is. You don't never remain silent. You get to speak your truth every single time. You don't catch hell like I catch hell. The nerve, the audacity. You made a whole song, I got too much to say. You got out your truth about how you have been feeling. Nobody else got to speak about anything. Nobody. What have you been holding in that you can't say? Or have your fans say for you. Because you on this high platform. And you have your fans bash other people. Which I got receipts on that too. You have your fans bash people. And then you want to say that. You, you got to remain silent. The nerve. You don't have to remain silent about anything. Y'all took my video that I made good and turned it into bad, including you. You comment under my video and had people bash me, then brought up my past. You don't see me bringing up your past. Before I made that video, you told me, you said if I had apologized to Clarence, that you would say something about it. But if, but if I didn't apologize, that you would call me out on it. And what you do, you comment right under my comments, took the good out of my video and made it bad with your comment then deleted your comment because you knew that when i seen it i was going to delete your comment but you deleted it and let the shade room teens get a get a hold of it i seen that but nobody else sees that it's like what you do get swept up under the rug everything y'all do get swept up under the rug like y'all in some secret society i don't know i'm just keeping it real tell the truth shame the devil you don't have to remain quiet about anything. And then you want to be, I, I misunderstood, misunderstood. <laughs> really? You misunderstood? I catch hell all the time. Even when I'm trying to be nice, I catch hell. You ain't stick up for me not once. And this was before I so-called made your name look bad. You never stuck up for me. Even when I was on all TL Shade going against everybody, them trolls, everybody. I know y'all remember, TNK Squad, all of that. Nobody stuck up for me. Nobody defended me. You got on there, you stuck up for Clarence. You got on there, you stuck up for Patty. You stuck up for even Leslie. You stuck up for Sandra. Not once you throw your neck out and stick up for me. But you misunderstood. You hold so much in. Oh no. No. I said what the fuck I said. Oh y'all. Y'all gotta stop worrying about my kids, my household, my money, and my business. And then Clarence jumped in to defend Queen. He said you can't go. And he always gotta butt in. 
Always, always got it, but I'm sorry, I'm tired of that. Have a seat. Or continuously do disrespectful and then expect a call saying your son nephew graduation is tomorrow. Yeah, that was a little, that was a little, that was a shot at me. Your son slash nephew, no, that's not how life works. No, because you got the nerve, you really do. She just bought you a Corvette, right? Why you make her cry on Christmas? You wouldn't think we knew about that, did you? Yeah, as good as she been to you, Clarence, you made her cry on Christmas? It's supposed to be a holly jolly time, right? At Christmas? As good as she been to you? You should be kissing her feet. I see, I see the stuff that you do. While she on live, you seeing her breath stink. You, you belittle her and don't nobody see it but us. But we so toxic. I'm the bad guy. When I see the stuff that you're doing and it's being swept up under the rug. And y'all think I'm gonna be quiet because of some fans. No fans can shut me up. not how life works instead of making it about yourselves which i always do you should be happy yeah? no i just feel like you sit back and you laugh at everybody's calamity or you sit back and want to tweet about everybody how can you love cj and you talk about his dad you love cj so much you proud him but you sit up there and you bash his dad when he go to sleep that don't sound like love I'm sorry. Tell the truth, shame the devil. You do not care about him. You hide behind them photo shoots and, and everything else that you're doing. And, and y'all, and, uh, and it's the fans I'm talking about because it be the little girls. Because the real adults know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all so one-sided and y'all so horny and y'all looking at him for his looks and not looking at him for his actions. Y'all not going to get done. He not gonna sleep with you. I'm sorry. You talk about everybody else, everybody else, and she sits back and she lets you. And I'm sorry. And signs are following me and she see exactly what you're doing. She just wanna be nosy and snoop on people's page. I unfollow her too. You see what you see everything your son doing. You not saying nothing. I seen her snooping on my stuff today. I just unfollowed her. I'm not gonna be friends with you. Uh-uh. I don't care how y'all look at me. I was meant to be the bad person. I was meant to look bad to begin with. I'm sorry. That kids about his education has got him to this point because any of y'all was willing to put yourselves to the side to make sure he was straight and it shows but y'all got it i know y'all gonna take this and twist this you don't make sure he's straight you don't care about him and i'm pretty sure y'all can go look at receipts too it's, it's receipts that that has proven that right when queen was on her tour and cj had asked for something to eat and you ain't get him nothing to eat it took for trey to come down the stage and get him something to eat you wouldn't have did legend like that. Why you think you could do him like that? I don't know what goes on. I don't know who's hurting CJ Finlands when I'm not around. And that's what bothers me. And y'all want y'all want me to shut up, right? Y'all want me to be quiet, right? And then when you out on it, or so pop on them, tough guy. Then you say that would make me look goofy. I mean, you, you've been looking goofy this whole entire time. Talking about CJ's dad, but you love CJ. You already been looking goofy this whole time. I don't care what I say. Y'all can't shut me up. What the fuck? This is not your son. You'll be mad too. I would never trick myself out of position where some other is raising my son. Don't let that go over your head. She's I'm sorry. That was bold. That's wrong. 
but he gets to sit up here and talk about everybody's situation. Everybody's situation. And, and y'all expect people to be quiet and shut up and bow down. I'm not bowing down to nobody. Y'all worship him, not me. Y'all so one-sided. Y'all know how much CJ love his dad. I'm not defending Chris. I'm defending CJ. Y'all know how much he loved his dad. You know how much he loved his dad. You're there with him. CJ is at the age where he understands and he knows what's going on. He is six years old. CJ has a private TikTok for a reason because he's at the age where he can read comments and understand. But meanwhile, you sit up here and you talk about his dad and then you claim that you love him, you got love for him. Well, CJ looked just like his daddy. When he looked just like his dad. Shame on you. I'm disappointed in you. I could have shot him a text like, it's not even about Queen, it's about your son and you could have left it at that. Like I said, I wasn't thinking about picking up my phone to call or text nobody. I was in between either taking my son to ER and making it to my baby's graduation. My mom was not on anything else. Y'all don't know what the fuck I had going on. Y'all just talk, talk, talk. Y'all have all the solutions until it's you in the situation. I don't give a fuck if y'all say I'm wrong. Oh well, move on. It's